I cannot speak in English fluently. During interviews, I fumble a lot while speaking in English. Or during team meetings, I am not able to articulate my thoughts and present them to others in spite of having a sound technical knowledge. If these problems or any of them seem like yours, then you are in the right video. Welcome back or welcome to my channel, my dear friends. I hope all of you are doing great. My name is Razia Khatun and today I'm going to take you through one of the most important questions I'm receiving these days from most of you through emails and DMs. How to improve my spoken English skills. As a HR professional and as a career coach, I'm glad and I'm happy that you have become so observant, you're keen to improve your spoken English skills. Why? Because English is a global language these days. No matter wherever you work, in your home country, in an international platform, you need to have a command over spoken English. Because that is how you connect to others, right? If you have to get a good job opportunity, or if you're aiming to go to the next career level or obtain a leadership role in your life, you need to be a good communicator. And English is the thread which connects all of us humans, right? In the professional world or even in the personal lives. So the need to have a command over spoken English is I believe mandatory these days. Now, let me tell you something. Having a command over spoken English is not a rocket science, right? You know that very well. If you put in consistent efforts for 30 days, I'm sure, I promise you, that you can become a very fluent speaker in English. And having a fluency in spoken English will help you in so many other ways. You will be good in interviews. You will be able to articulate your thoughts well. You will be delivering well in team meetings. You will become a great public speaker. So what you are doing in this way, you are giving yourself brilliant chances. You are giving yourself every opportunity that is coming your way. Instead of thinking or pushing yourself back that, oh, my English is not that good and I'm not able to stand in front of others or others will laugh at me or mock at me because of my spoken English skills. Yeah, you're giving yourself opportunity to prove yourself, right? So work on your spoken English skills from today onwards. You don't need to prepare and plan and take a lot of time. Start working on it from now, from today onwards. And there are very simple strategies to enhance your spoken English skills. This video is going to be a bit long, but let me assure you that you're going to get a lot of value once you watch the full video. Let me tell you my own story on how I gained interest into spoken English. Okay, so I was in grade one, a child as young as six years old. And I got admission into one of the best convent schools of the city. And I was so happy, excited, elated on day one of our school. I got my backpack on, my tiffin box inside the bag, my books, and I went to the school on time, I sat on the front row, all right, and waited eagerly for the class teacher to come. The English class teacher arrived, yeah. She was wearing a beautiful, deep blue colored sari, had a lovely smile on her face. And all of the students, including me, we instantly started liking her. Salutations were exchanged, good morning teacher. And she replied us back, good morning students, have a seat. And she started to ask, um, names of each of the students and we introduce ourselves with our names so it was a very healthy interaction going on between the teacher and the students and everybody liked her everything was going on well till the class teacher asks each one of us have you got your books and copies covered neatly in the brown paper all the students raised their hands excitedly except me so the teacher came to me and she asked me why haven't you got your books and copies covered i replied to her but in hindi and i said ma'am mere papa ki tabiyat theek nahi hai books and copies cover Translation, ma'am, I have not got these books and copies covered because my father is not feeling well, but I will get these covered today. My class teacher immediately prompted me and said, can you speak in English? Which I was not able to do because I could understand her, but I was not able to comprehend those little words into a sentence. So my class teacher told me, you can go and sit in the back row. I felt very humiliated when she said so. The next morning arrives, I am fresh. My father had covered all my books and copies. 
and I reach the school on time and I sit on the front row. The class teacher arrives and she asks me, have you got your books and copies covered, Razia? And I replied to her, but in Hindi. Ma'am, yes, I have books and sari copies ko cover kara liya hai, and that's why I am here. Ma'am again prompts me, speak in English. Again, I could not do it because I understood her, but I could not comprehend those little words into a sentence. She again asks me to go and sit in the back row. Now this young girl, six year old, could not justify as to why today she is made to sit in the back row. She has got all her books and copies covered with the brown paper neatly, right? Now the teacher understands my pain, okay? She comes to me where I was sitting. She sits next to me, has a smile on her face and she holds me by my chin. Razia, we are going to work together on your English speaking skills and the day you are able to talk to me in English, I promise to you that I will bring you from here to the first row. Okay? And her promise brought a smile to my face. She had given me the justification that why I was moved from the front row to the back row. And that was my English speaking skills. And that was the day I decided to myself that I had to work on speaking English well. Now, my class teacher was very smart. She gave us an environment where we were forced to speak only in English. In the class, she made a rule that all of the students, all of the 50 students had to speak in English only. And if any one of us was found speaking in Hindi or our native language, we would be given a black star. Now, who wants a black star? As a student, nobody, right? And the same thing she told us that when you go back home, encourage your parents to speak to you in English or you speak to them in English and even with your siblings. So what she taught us that create an environment around you wherein you always get a chance to speak in English only. There is no other choice. It's by force or by love or whatever. But you have to speak in English, right? And my dear friends, a young girl as young as six years old, she took this challenge and within a month, I'm telling you, I was able to speak in English with my teacher and I was brought to the first row as promised by her. So to cut the long story short, the moral of the story is that if a young girl like me, with a consistent daily practice, if she can improve her English speaking skills, why can't you? What are your own excuses? to not learn and master the art of spoken English. So today I'm going to give you three important tips to start with. And let me tell you that this is not just one video. I will be preparing a video series to help you improve your spoken English skills because I really want you to excel in your career, honestly. So these are the tips which I have myself learned when I was preparing for the IELTS examination, for the PTE examination. And these have really helped me to get better at my spoken English skills and I really believe that if you follow these consistently on a daily basis you can become an effective communicator so the first tip is you have to listen a lot to your favorite podcasts to your favorite youtubers now by this i mean for you to just shortlist three of your favorite podcasts and three of your favorite youtubers there is a lot of information on social media do not get lost into this ocean of social media okay Write down the three important podcasts, your favorite podcasts, which you really love listening to. They may be as simple as anything. And three of your most famous YouTubers you love listening to. Okay. My idea to start with your listening skills is listening and reading. These are the input modes. You know, you're consuming data by listening and reading. So when you consume things, you learn things. And then speaking and writing are the output modes. In Output modes, you have to put your brain into action, right? You have to deliver things, right? Nobody is going to help you out. You have to do it yourself. So let's first learn things and then we start delivering things, okay? So listening, what will it help you? It will help you to understand the sentence formation. It will help you to get a command over your grammar. It will help you learn how things are pronounced correctly and it will help you get a good accent. All right, so start listening from today onwards and this does not need a lot of time just 10 minutes of your busy schedule and it's just not that you will listen it passively okay 
you have to put your full attention when you are listening to a particular podcast or to a particular YouTube. Okay. The second thing which you start to do from today onwards is situational speaking. Now, my dear friends, it's very easy to just keep on consuming data and not to perform. Okay, not to deliver. So from today, your task is that in any situation you are in, you have to start speaking. By this, I mean that whatever situation you are in that particular scenario, okay, try to frame at least six to seven sentences pertaining to that particular situation. For example, when you have breakfast, what are feelings or what are all the thoughts that come to your mind? Speak them out loud into that particular situation. Now I am preparing my breakfast. I'm going to have my breakfast. I prefer tea to coffee. I prefer a slice of bread to a paratha. Yeah, I am loving my breakfast. Yeah, breakfast makes me feel healthy and it gives me the energy to carry on the whole day. Okay, so these kind of situational sentences, they really help you to think on your feet. Okay, and these will eventually help you to frame or articulate your thoughts in whatever situation you are in. So this situational sentences uh, speaking will really help you to put together your thoughts and help you speak in a structured manner. The third important thing which you can do to enhance and improve your spoken English skills from today onwards is to take a journal and start writing. My dear friends, I can't tell you enough its importance. So take a diary, a journal, anything, right? And start writing a few sentences of what you like during the day. For example, number one, you worked on this particular thing. You met so-and-so person. You really liked this thing during that day. So four or five sentences during the day, when you write, you really feel that you are putting your thoughts into the paper. And it's a universal fact that whenever you write things, you retain almost 80 to 90 percent of the information. Whatever you listen may be lost within a few hours or a day. But whatever you write, you train your mind and you tell your mind that it's really important. You need to learn it. You, need to, you better be serious about it. Right. So writing is a very good practice, which you start doing from today onwards. OK, so these are my three important tips which are really going to help you to begin with. What I want you to do right now is on a scale of zero to ten, zero being the lowest and ten being the highest on this scale of zero to ten. Rate yourself honestly. Where do you stand in terms of your spoken English skills? Rate yourself very honestly, because I am a HR professional and I work with certain strategies. So. Measuring your performance, measuring your efforts and progress and tracking them is really very important. So as a state is like, where are you right now and how far you are progressing, how far you are moving is really very important. It just need not be doing. You need to track your progress. So in the comment box below, let me know where you have rated yourself and which is one particular thing you need to work upon in your spoken English skill. Is it your vocabulary? Is it your pronunciation? Is it your sentence formation, your grammar? Whatever you feel like you're lacking in. And then from there, we will take it forward. And as I always say, right keys to your success are within you. Seize your keys, right? You have all the potential. All you need is to get going. Learn and lead. And I will see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.